Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Astroneer with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to our little resource train, now with two storage sections, which I'm going to put on in just a moment. So this is actually the first episode in which I'm no longer completely doing a blind run. For the most part, I still haven't looked up anything official, I haven't looked up any guides or YouTube videos or any of that, but the first episode of Astroneer has just gone out, episode 1, and as such I've read some comments. So because of that, there are a few things I'm now aware of. For instance, apparently the fuel condenser is really really good. So what we need to do is go out and get some copper as soon as possible so that we can get all of this sorted. And now I've said that, I think we actually have some copper already available, so let's get the fuel condenser going. A bit of a bad placement, I admit, but this cave is now pretty much completely used up, so I'm going to go down, get all of the tethers back, and then seal this up anyway. So there we are, we have the fuel condenser, and I've been told conflicting things. Some people have told me that we can convert things like organic into other fuels, and other people have told me it's just power. You use up the battery power to create fuel from nothing. So, I'm just going to press the button and see what happens. Okay, it's definitely using up power, we haven't gave it anything, and... And... Wow, we get Hydrazine. Now that's a pretty big deal, because Hydrazine is worth a lot when it comes to trading. I've actually been using it anyway to get ourselves copper and such. This is actually a really good source of, essentially, endless resource. However, that is using up a lot of power. I don't think a single wind turbine is going to be good enough for the long term. But saying that, whilst the wind is still blowing at a very fast pace, it seems to be doing just fine. Let me put the next one there. Also, apparently really good positioning, putting the fuel condenser right next to the trade platform. I would like to say that was purposeful and, in and intelligent of me, but no, that was just a genuine mistake. Well, a genuine coincidence, which has just turned out very, very well. Yeah, this is really overpowered. The wind turbine is actually powering this. Oh, it's finally running out! The battery can hold a lot of power, so it may seem like we got more than it looked like. That was a very weird way of saying that. What I was meant to say is, it may seem like we've got more for less energy than we actually got. But saying that, no, it does seem like we can do it yet again. The sun isn't even out. No, the sun is now out, and now we have the solar panel as well, and we've almost completely got one tried platform worth of fuel. The funny thing is, I still don't know what we're even meant to use this fuel for. Apparently it's worth a lot up above to the people in the space station, which obviously makes sense, considering it's fuel, but I don't know what I can use it for down here. Can't use it in replacement for coal, and none of the other things we can currently build use it. The only thing I can think of is maybe the shuttle would use it, considering it's high density fuel, and apparently worth a fortune, that would make sense to me. And look, we now have the full set of Hydrazine as soon as this one is done. There we are. Just let me put this on one last time, then we'll go and trade it for something. We could, of course, trade it for coal, which would be for power, but I don't see the point in that. Okay, so we can get zero organic. That's weird. Why can't we get organic or- Oh, it's because we've put too much on, so it couldn't possibly give us enough back. So all of the cheap stuff, it's just not letting us. But we can trade it one for one for aluminum, or copper, or aluminum again, or copper. We can also trade it back for itself, obviously at half the cost. Lithium, or two coal, or two titanium. Now there was one item I could use titanium for, which I wanted to find out. Which was the... if I can find the darn thing. There it is, the tank. And I believe that's just going to be an air tank to, to allow me to go further, so I don't really need that just yet. So I'll leave that until we actually need some more of 
any particular resource. But today, we're going to go out and we're going to try and find some more research nodes because right now, I know for a fact there's a larger storage and there is also the drill bit which can go onto the back of our truck. That's the thing. But for now, we do have the regular storage. I've also been told that the larger storage module, which goes onto the truck only, actually has a few problems at the moment. It's a little bit glitchy, so I'm going to be very aware of that and be very, very careful. Let's put these on the back, since I don't think we could put one of the artifacts on the back anyway. And yes, I am going to call the research nodes artifacts. It just seems, it just seems easier to me to do that. Okay, there we are. We've got our power sorted. We are, we are bringing our little rover with the seat because we're being silly like that. And let's just continue onwards then. I guess it is good if it has a seat because it means if we ever get stuck at the front, we can hopefully pull it out at the back. This time, let's go this way. Last time we went over there. This time we'll go over here. Let's see if we can find anything of interest and hopefully some more research nodes. Well, I found some power. I mean, it's something. And lots. Oh, actually power on the floor as well. Power everywhere. Some compounds, some resin, some oxygen. Loads of different plant types. Once again. Some, I believe that's resin. More resin over there as well. Another large container. What I'm really looking for is any odd-looking plants or any anything which looks man-made. Anything which looks like it wasn't here before we got here and started messing things up. There's also a cave system. Oh, I am very tempted. I am very tempted, but I don't think I will just yet. But saying that, it does have compounds. So what it could do is make some tethers, which I believe do tether to the vehicle. And then that would allow us to mine down. Oh, hello! Well, it's a good job we went out. We've just found a research node, which sadly looks identical to something we got earlier. But I was wrong about that before, so perhaps this is something completely unique. I'm just being silly. As I thought, I can't put that on the front, but can we put it on the back? We should be able to. Well, that's curious. Can these not go onto that type of storage? Maybe that's the case. Maybe it's just very specific how you have to place them. It's very, very possible. Anything else around here before we go underground? Nothing we can use. Okay, let's just grab some of... I think this is resin, so I don't really want that. Let's just grab some of the compound from in the mine, and then let's go down and see what we can find. Ow. Well, apparently there's water. Well, it looks like water. I haven't actually encountered water yet in this game. Apparently that is going to be something in the future, but right now it's not really anything. Beacon, wind vane, solar... Tethers, there we are. That one, please. Thank you. Now let's see if this actually works with our vehicle. Yes, it does. And apparently it's all three of them. That's fantastic. That means we can go all the way down and we can bring oxygen with us and we can even bring energy as long as it has some spare. Also, apparently that one can attach via the ground. Well, that's good. We can put our tethers back then. I'll be taking you as well. No need to use that one. There we are. Nice and efficient. Although I will also grab the rest of the compound in case we need a filter to filter the oxygen from the air. Ooh. Really should build a ramp more so than the hole we're building right now, because I just almost fell through that. A quick change of plan. I've decided I'm going to bring the generator with me. This way I can keep on refueling it with organic, and therefore have pretty much unlimited energy, which will be very, very helpful. There we go. We've got two organic and a half, so we can use that while we're down there. We'll get oxygen from this itself, and I'm going to build a few more tethers so we can go really far into the cave system. We need to be very, very careful here. We could, of course, just build that back, but I'm very, very lazy. This is a very dangerous looking cave right now. Okay, now it's looking better. No, tether. T no, tether, go back. I need to be able to see and have oxygen. Thank you. Ooh. This looks bad. Now, they 
are the ones which are making all that lovely poisonous gas. Can I prevent damage, or at least take less damage by using a filter? I have heard that before. Going to make one anyway. I don't think it'll be used up as long as I'm attached to the tether regardless, so it's not like I'm wasting resource. And I'll pretend like it isn't working and I'll just try and kill the things. There we are, one is undermined. Oh, poisonous gas. Didn't seem to do damage. It normally gives me a warning when I start taking damage. I didn't get it. Let's just have a quick look-see. Okay, I think the filter may either prevent the damage or lessen it greatly. Okay, let's find out. Will this hurt me? No. Okay, the filter makes you immune to the poison. And that's just... Okay, there's no point in me getting hydrazine where I can make it at home. No point in wasting my storage. I mean, honestly speaking, now we have the trading bag. There's not much... Ooh. That looks unique down there. But like I was saying, there's not really much we need. What are you? Okay, I'm certain I've seen this one before. But since I've been wrong before, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on our storage. We still have a lot of storage left, so I'll be back in a second. I'm going to put this onto our research truck, as I'm now going to call it. And then we'll go back down to see if we can find anything more unique. There we are, we already have three research nodes. Now, this one, I'm certain we have seen before, so if we find another one, we'll simply remove this, because currently we have the storage here, which I am now fairly certain I can't put stuff on, or maybe it's because the solar panel's in the way. You stay there for a second. No, it seems like the smaller version that just doesn't work on, or perhaps, maybe it'll work if it's on the rover, because the rover's version, it goes long ways rather than horizontal. I don't know. Either way, back into the cave system and straight away hurting ourselves. The first bit of damage we've really taken just from entering the cave again. On the upside, sliding is very, very fun. Am I still sliding? How is I still sliding near the end there? I have no idea. If you hear any dings in the background, by the way, that is my lovely fiance currently feeding my tortoise because that was in one of the previous videos as well and people thought someone was- ow. Someone was washing the dishes. A bit of an insight into the Lafrixian household. There is a little tortoise called Lipton. He's adorable. Or a tortoise, depending on your particular region. Okay, I'm currently out of tethers. Do we have any more compound? No, we do not. So this may be as far as we go for now. Ow. Um, oh, it was that! Okay, so those red plants spit at you, apparently. It was one of those two plants, anyway. Oh, no, it's these little ones! Okay, so plants are dangerous. Always approach new plants with danger. I thought because, of, well, we killed the first one, and it didn't do anything, I thought it was safe. Wait, there's one over here. Are you going to spit at me as well? No, so, so it's only the little ones then. Okay. Good to know. Need to be a bit more careful. What's that? Um. That's a dead me. Oh my god. Is this, is this where we fell through ages ago? The one when I didn't re retrieve my body? No, because I didn't have these weird oxygen. Look at that. There's like a little oxygen tank. It's a tank, yeah. We haven't even made these yet. Titanium. Yeah, I think I would remember if I died with titanium on me. We just found a random corpse, which isn't ours. A really effective corpse at that, but a corpse nonetheless. A battery. Okay, yeah, we've hit the mother load here. Some aluminum and dynamite. Okay. Um. May you rest in peace, oh weary traveller who had really expensive stuff on you. Oh, I was hoping to bury you, but you kind of came up with the dirt. No, because there we go. There we go. We were respectful. Okay, yeah, we're going back now. We're definitely going back. We've got way too much stuff to risk our lives right now. 
Let's go back, go back to the base, get the research done, do some more fuel condensing for infinite money, and then we can, I don't know, see what we've made actually, see, see if we've got the drill bit or anything interesting. Let's see if I can actually remember, remember my way home. I should really start building some of those, uh, what they call, the um, beacons. The beacons will be very, very useful. Now one way we can store a little bit more is by doing this. There we are, I've got one more space because I may as well grab some resin while we're here. No, that's fuel. Fine, we'll grab fuel then, we'll grab money. All the money in the world is ours. And so ends the great exploration. And we have some we, we have found some floating rocks. Which is interesting to say the least. I think home was one of those ways. I can't for the life of me remember. I think it was this way, because we went past the resin, but it could be that way. We'll find out fairly soon. Oh come on, you two. The only thing I hope this research isn't is the large storage, because so many people now have told me it's really glitched. So we'll leave that if we do have that, and we'll just keep on using the regular storage for our regular stuff. Ooh, some compound. I will actually grab this compound and put it onto the back of the truck. Because honestly, compound is very, very useful, and I don't want to waste fuel and time trading for it all the time. Let's put the organic into our... There we are, into that. Don't really need the rest of it, keep the rest. Hydrazine and everything else can go into the truck. A battery, which is really cool, I might add. And then we have a single one power nodule. How do we use dynamite? I don't think we should find out, honestly. Well, here's something. Now that is a research node I'm fairly certain we've not used before. Now, I could be wrong, but I know I've used that one. I've seen it so many times. So there we are, a pretty blue gem-encrusted blob. Lovely. We are home, and it turns out the blue research node is in fact something new. And giving us... Storage. Okay, I believe that's the larger storage which goes onto the truck. So it's nice we have that, but we won't use it for now until it's patched. We don't want to see any glitches. I'll check if it's been patched after the video. Okay, that one was new as well. Fantastic. And that gives us... The drill head. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. And then we have this kind of reddish-orange brick. Can I not research you? Hello? Are you out of power? It could be that you're out of power. Let's put the generator in for a second and grab some organic. Yeah, loads of lag right now. I don't know what's going on here, guys. I'll fix it before the next video if it continues for the rest of this video. Not too sure. Maybe... Oh, it could be that we're messing up all these tethers. That could be the cause. Yep, it was just slightly out of power. No wind at the moment, no sun. And that gives us... Gives us... Spaceship! Spaceship? Spaceship. What? Oh, you beautiful creation. We have a spaceship. Oh, that's awesome. That is... Oh, I love that. Yes, but for now, I do still want to build the shuttle first. So that's our main goal. And we need to get over here so we can attach the drill bit. In fact, do we make the drill bit in the printer or the vehicle creator? Let's find out. Winter. Okay, drill head requires two copper, so we'll go ahead and trade for some copper. 
I said trade for some copper. And since we have no power at the moment, I don't really want to use the very bad generator to generate a full set of power. We're just going to trade for already finished copper. The less efficient way, but certainly the easiest. And now we wait. So, how do we get a better power setup? I wonder if with the coal... I wonder how much energy the coal produces, and is it worth trading the hydrazine for coal, then using the coal to make more hydrazine? I have a feeling like that may actually be the right thing to do. Maybe. There's our other little organic generator. Hello, copper! So I believe we need two of you. Also, we have loads of compound right now. Uh, can I attach this to the side? Yes, I can. My, my little oxygen tank. It was so good finding that corpse. That was the best corpse. It was the most useful corpse in all of history. Okay, and okay, and... Uh, the drill bit will be ours! Let's see how good it is. I wonder if we can actually harvest with the drill bit. Or is it just going to be like a train destroyer? I'm hoping harvesting because honestly, as long as you have a decent supply of energy through something, just the regular tools are very, very good at destroying a lot of terrain. Um, do we just attach it like any other item? It doesn't seem to be attaching. There we go! Let's face over here. Uh, do I turn it on? Okay! It does seem to be harvesting because it's grabbing the organic. Yes, it does harvest. If you look to the right of me, it is harvesting. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, you see, this is why you need to play this game um, multiplayer. Because someone could be in the driver's seat, and then someone could just be chilling out in the crane. And then when you go over and get to a resource node, you can just happily absorb the entire thing. I think it would still be easier for me to jump out and jump into this anyway, but... Yeah, that is really cool. Even even in single player, this is going to be very, very useful. Is that as far as it can go? Well, we made a hole. And I think that is the important lesson of the day. So, I think it's a good time to actually call the episode here. In the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to make the shuttle, because I want to see what this is like first, and then we're going to explore the world using the shuttle, and then in the episode after that, we'll probably m move on over to the spaceship. Either way, though, it's been a lot of fun today, absolutely adoring this game, and a big thank you to all the likes and everything else. It's been really, really nice to see people enjoying a game which isn't From the Depths on the channel. And don't worry, there will be a From the Depths episode coming out on Monday. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Astroneer is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you again for watching, and goodbye. Time to make some more Hydrazine.